Hi everyone, today we're going to learn how to write a topic sentence. The topic sentence. Every paragraph needs a topic sentence. Usually, a topic sentence appears at the beginning of a paragraph. You can think of a topic sentence as your focus sentence. So, every paragraph needs one, it's at the beginning, and it's a focus sentence. So what exactly is a topic sentence? Well, a topic sentence organizes an entire paragraph because a topic sentence identifies the main idea of your paragraph. A topic sentence can also state the point that you, the writer, are trying to make about a subject. So now, let's look at some examples of paragraphs to better understand the topic sentence. So there are some paragraphs coming up. Two. I would like you to read the two paragraphs and compare them. Which one do you think is written better and why? Here you go. Example one. Take a moment to read this paragraph. Okay, let's read it together. All my family lives there. When I visit, I get to see all of my cousins. We laugh and play all day. One thing we do in the summer is walk to the park a few blocks from Grandma's house. After the park, everyone gathers around the table and we have a big family dinner. I love visiting Wisconsin. Wisconsin is a place in the United States. Let's look at example two now. Example two. Take a moment to read it. Okay, let's read it together. Do you have a favorite place to go visit? My favorite place is Wisconsin because I get to see my family. When I visit, I get to see all my cousins. We laugh and play all day. One thing I do with my cousins in the summer is walk down to the park a few blocks from Grandma's house. After the park, everyone gathers around the table and we have a big family dinner. I love visiting Wisconsin. So I wonder which paragraph was better, example one or example two. Well, here we can see example two, and there's a sentence that's been highlighted. And highlighted in blue is the topic sentence, which is, my favorite place is Wisconsin because I get to see my family. So now that we know what a topic sentence is, and that we need one when we write, let's take a look at how to write one. How to write a topic sentence. Every topic sentence has two parts, has a topic and a main point. So the topic from now on is kind of this blue color and the main point will be in pink. So you have to state your topic clearly and next ask yourself what is the main point or focus of this paragraph? It sounds hard but Stay with me here. Let's look at an example. Okay, here's another example. So watching too much TV is harmful to kids because the violence seen negatively influences their behavior. So the topic is that watching too much TV is harmful and the main point is because Thanksgiving is the best holiday because you spend time with your family. Thanksgiving is the best holiday. I'm going to talk about that. 
That's my topic. And now I'll tell you why. Because you spend time with your family. That's my main point. Here's another example coming up. You'll like this one. Recess should be longer because kids need the extra exercise to help them focus in class. So I'm going to talk about how recess should be longer for the whole paragraph. That's my topic. And my main point is because kids need the extra exercise to help them focus in class. So here we can see a graphic organizer, which is like a diagram to help you organize your writing. You see a topic sentence graphic organizer to help you write a topic sentence. There's the topic, the main point, and then the completed topic sentence. So using this gra graphic organizer, come up with a topic sentence. So the topic is done for you. Summer is the best season. That's done. What would your main point be? What would your reason be? Think about that. And then, after you've done that, brainstorm how you could finish the paragraph. This is just the first sentence. How would you finish the rest of that paragraph? Let's look at another example. Using the graphic organizer, come up with a topic sentence. Topic, recess should be longer. That's what you're going to talk about. Your main point, in this case, why should recess be longer? Brainstorm. How could you finish the paragraph? What reasons would you give? How would you break down the paragraph into different parts? So when we're writing a topic sentence, keep that in mind. Topic plus main point. And also keep in mind the mistakes that you want to avoid. So we're going to talk about the following are common mistakes you'll want to avoid when writing a topic sentence. So the first one is don't refer to your own writing. So don't say I'm going to write about or this paragraph is about. That should not be in your topic sentence. And don't be too broad or general. Broad means wide, talk, not very specific. So don't be broad and don't be general. So be specific. Let's look at some examples. An example, don't refer to your own writing. I am going to write about the Theodore Roosevelt and his effort to preserve out nation's forests. Well, that's boring. And it's broad. Here's another example. This paragraph is about Theodore Roosevelt's efforts in the conservation of national forests. Okay, you've just told me what you're writing about. Please don't do that. And also, it's so general. I have no idea what you're going to talk about. I just have a vague, broad idea. And it's boring. Let's look at more improved examples. Theodore Roosevelt strongly believed in the conservation of America's beautiful land, so he established several national parks. Oh, now I know what you're going to talk about. Or, Theodore Roosevelt made it his life's work to preserve our nation's land. Much more interesting, and now I think you're probably going to talk about his life's work. So be specific. Here's another one. The Revolutionary War had an impact on the United States. Okay, that's very vague. This sentence just doesn't tell your reader what your paragraph is about. After reading it, I ask myself, what major impact? An improved example the Revolutionary War had a major political impact on the new United States because it allowed us to establish our own government. Oh, that's way more specific, so that is a good topic sentence. Now remember, when you finish your topic sentence and then you start writing your paragraph, every sentence in the paragraph must relate to the main idea mentioned in your topic sentence. So if there's a sentence that doesn't refer to the main idea, it does not belong in the paragraph. Here's an example. Which sentence doesn't belong and why? Let's read this together. Theodore Roosevelt strongly believed in the importance of the conservation of our nation's wilderness and national resources. Since his early years, Roosevelt took many trips across the country exploring the beautiful lands. 
As a boy, Roosevelt suffered, grew up suffering from asthma. Shortly after becoming president, Roosevelt said we need to preserve land for the use and benefit of people as a whole. As president, he established five national parks, the first being Crater Lake. So which sentence does not belong? I think I know. Let's check. Exactly. As a boy, Roosevelt grew up suffering from asthma. That has nothing to do with the importance of conservation of wilderness and national parks. So this sentence doesn't belong because it is not about his conservation of our land. The violence that's seen negatively influences their behavior. Okay, so let's do a quick review. A topic sentence identifies the main idea of your paragraph. It contains a topic and a main point. Every paragraph needs a topic sentence and watch out. Don't refer to your writing or don't make the topic sentence. Okay, so now it's time to write. Over to you. Good luck. Bye-bye. Sentence too broad.